The Pinpoint Microgauge Laser System measures bore alignment of all different diameters and depths. This video provides a brief overview and examples. The standard microgauge laser is made of hard anodized aluminum built to withstand rugged work environments. A 10 arc second bubble level is built into the top of the laser for leveling to gravity. The microgauge cylindrical laser can be attached directly to equipment for measuring bore alignment. It comes standard with a 3 inch long, 1 inch diameter removable shank. The microgauge 2D receiver detects location of both the X and Y axes with a full range of about half an inch and 0x, 0y located in the center. The 2D receiver fits directly into mounts and adapters for bore or spindle alignment applications. The microgauge disc receiver is a more compact and low profile option, well suited for tighter spaces and shorter distances. Pinpoint bore mounts are designed with precision tooling balls and spring-loaded ball plungers for a tight and secure mechanical fit on center and to accommodate for bore tolerances. The 4D receiver measures angles pitch and yaw for angular alignment as well as X and Y. The Pro Display has a color touchscreen and displays the measurements in real time. Measurements can be recorded and uploaded later or the display can attach to a PC to record measurements directly into pinpoint capture software. The Pro Display features onboard applications such as the Bucking In program which can be used to set the laser parallel through two reference bores. The Pro Display can connect to four wired receivers and four wireless. It has a USB and an auxiliary output for connecting to computers or control systems. The 4-axis mount provides angular pitch and yaw, vertical and horizontal adjustment for aiming the laser and can be attached to a tripod. Let's go over some common ways to measure bores. The first method is aligning to gravity and simply using the laser as a reference line. The laser is placed on the 4-axis mount and the pitch knobs are adjusted until the bubble is level. This establishes a laser line parallel to gravity and any bore can be measured to this line. Move the receiver from bore to bore and adjust the bores until they are all aligned. Often, technicians will measure bores independent of their relation to gravity. The bucking in method is very useful here and this means to aim the laser straight through two reference bores, typically the front and back bores. By inputting the distances from laser to each bore and saving measurements in the bucking in program, the operator will be instructed on where to aim the laser using the pitch and yaw knobs of the 4-axis mount. In this example, the display calculates that the laser needs to be aimed at negative 2 vertical and plus 45 thou horizontal to achieve a straight line through the bores. So we adjust the pitch and yaw knobs of the 4-axis mount accordingly until the laser is aimed at these target values. Next we can bring the receiver back to the front bore to confirm alignment. The display indicates that we are bucked in within a thousandth of an inch over the length of the bores. We can zero out the reading and now measure and align all middle bores to this well established reference line. Another option is to attach the cylindrical laser directly to a bore to create a precise straight reference datum line. By rotating the laser and receiver and averaging measurements, any mechanical errors in fixturing can be averaged out and the true center of rotation can be calculated. The interpolation method uses the math built into pinpoint capture software allowing the technician to skip bucking in, thus saving time. Just record measurements directly into capture and capture will calculate the straightness of the bores. The pinpoint microgauge system can also profile the straightness of a long bore. Here we can buck in again to a front and back location, or we can use capture to interpolate and calculate straightness and skip bucking in. Thank you for watching.